Hey guys, I'm out here in Locust Grove. I haven't been to this community probably in about maybe a year, a year and three or four months. Uh, wow, it's really, really built up. I think they'll have the last remaining lots. Those island of trees here. I can't tell. Some of these have under contract. Some of them don't. So I do know they have the Meridian floor plan, which is one of my favorite floor plans. I believe it has two master bedrooms in it. I think I did a film of it last year in the Fayetteville community. So if you're interested in this community out here in Henry County, just let me know. See that this one's open, so I'm going to walk through it for you. And if you're interested, it's probably sold, but if you wanted to build it down here, you might be able to. It looks like, number one, you have a three-car garage. Beautiful. Let's see if I could go in through the front door. That'd be cool. <laughs> if not, I'll be going in through the garage. Oh, I like the nice covered front porch this is one of my favorite all-time favorite builders um you get so much for your money and they have killer killer floor plans all right let's walk through this one again i'll try to find out what the name of this floor plan and just dm me if you like it and i'll try to get the details for you i know the agents pretty well with this builder as you can see a two-story foyer when you come in looks like probably going to be a loft up there when you see this covering that means it's hardwood floors down i love the oversized banister heading up the uh, staircase oh this is really really nice you have the coffered ceilings with the accent wall of uh shiplap love this fixture this is going to be more on their higher end uh, product line so the sign says 300s but in reality when you see a lot of these upgrades i'm definitely thinking 400s uh anything on a basement i would think high 400s into the 500 high 400s into the 500s over here to the left you got a half bath oh i love the window in here is cool of course add some blinds pedestal sink hardwood floors and it opens up into the kitchen and family room. Wow, this is really spacious. I love, again, the cedar uh, cedar mantle is a really nice touch with the shiplap. Great area. You probably saw us do, after the fact, some built-ins. So we'll get our carpenter out here for you. <laughs> and uh, finish this off for built-ins. It'll look amazing. Kind of just an open area here. Some people... I would just leave it open. You might be able to put a table, but I actually would put the table over here, like the kitchenette area. I love that a lot of this builder is doing these LED lights. You won't have to change a light bulb for probably seven to 12 years, depending on how often you leave it on. Let's flip it around, and you have a big, gigantic kitchen. When you build from the ground up, you'll be able to pick out your color schemes. I pretty much doubt that this one's available, but if it is, I will definitely find out for you if you like it. Uh, I like the added vent hood here is really cool. The white cabinets, the subway tile. Very nice, very spacious. Let's show you from this angle. I just love an open airy floor plan, but it has its definitive sections, right? And the little touches of the, the shiplap in the wood mantle. Looks like you have the master bedroom downstairs. That's very, very popular for a lot of people. Coffered ceilings in it. That's interesting. I love it. It gives it that classy look. You could either have hardwoods or carpet in here, as you can see. How about this? Covered back porch. We'll look at that in a second. But back to this. Very spacious. You could create your own sitting area. Another thing I love about this community, their bathrooms, gigantic, right? You have the double vanity sinks, the big soaking toilet, nicely tiled shower. Very, very nice. I love when they do the accented um, complimentary, but the little, uh, the little shampoo thing is cool. Light above it. Very nice. Walk-in closet. Do build-outs afterwards. You know my thoughts on that. 
water closet. This is really nice. Window. Hey, third car garage. <laughs> That'd be a, yeah, plenty of space to park. Oh, it looks like that's not the only master closet. You got a second one. No lights yet. But two closets. That's a bonus, right? Love this wall of windows. <clears throat> Let me peek out here while I'm on the side and see what the back covered porch. Ooh, I love it. When you build, if you wanted to add like a game day porch, that's like the house next door. They add a corner fireplace. That's gorgeous. I love these lots because all the lands are pretty much flat over here. You see how gigantic it is. Shoot. Nice side yard. It's a great lot. Let's see. That's the fireplace that they added. All right, let's check upstairs. Glad I came down here. I was in the area because I have a lot of clients starting to look at Henry County. Building up quite a bit. And, and McDonough and uh, Henry. We're gonna be hardwoods up a staircase. I like this, I'm standing on the landing. The wrought iron. Hallway. Bedroom number two, I believe, yep. We got the master on the main. Nice vaulted ceilings. You could do a king size bed in here if you wanted to. A couple of nightstands. Or you could do like a fuller queen, create a sitting area. Walk-in closet. So regal, right? Here's a nice area to put like a, a little desk or console table and mirror. Then you have a loft area with an outlet. So you could put your theater seats or a sectional or a couch and a chair. This could be your TV area. It's nice having a gated community, too. Wow, this has two master bedrooms. I wonder if this is the one that's available. This might be the Marine that she said that had a 436,000 and some change. It's a hell of a deal if you got two master suites, right? Bedroom three. car garage. Beautiful. Let's see, that was bedroom three. Bedroom four. Very nice. I probably would use this as a home office, but if you have a kid, maybe with a full or twin size, a couple twin beds would look pretty cool in here. Big walk-in closet. That's a huge bonus, especially if it's a kid's room. Or home office if you want to put like filing cabinets. That's a great lot, right? Gorgeous. It's actually a pretty big room. It's just the cutout probably allows for more of a full queen, but you got another outlet. Don't get me started in to decorate because I will kill it in a house like this if you want. <laughs> Bite me over. I will spend some money for you. Tile, double vanity sinks, as we call it, Jack and Jill bathroom, toilet. Beautiful. Vaulted ceilings. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'll find out if this is the one. I think it was like 436 and some change. One of my preferred lenders that I like working with is part of this builder's portfolio. Did I show you this bathroom? I don't think I did. Okay, double door. This must be... Oh, it's not another master. It's a secondary, like a media room. I like it though. I really do. Let's see if I could lower that so you guys can see. 
double door. They do have a floor plan that has two masters. I think it's called the Meridian. But if you don't need it, this is great for a, uh, a TV. Look how big this cover back porch is, right? It's a huge roof line. But this actually makes a great kids' playroom. This could also be a media room. Okay, so that's not that I see it in person. I would definitely make this a TV room. You know, you don't have a basement, so this basically becomes your man or woman cave. Kids' playroom, TV room. So I would do like a couple movie theater seats, but I like a popcorn machine or a dry bar where I'm standing. Put my LED screen or my uh, uh, projection screen on this wall. Some beautiful windows to work with. Another area of movie theater posters. You see the vision I'm going for, right? And then to still have this loft area. So this could be a killer home office. If you wanted to make that the, the family room, like the movie theater room, this could also be a great, you know, I could just picture like the kids, the dogs, you know, hanging out, playing, you know, their, their games, Legos, family um, game night, maybe a poker table, something like that. If you don't have kids, it's a beautiful window here. Love that. So we got, let's see, we had a Jack and Joe. So that's two bedrooms, three bedrooms, a hall closet, good size walk-in closets too. So three, wait, one, two, three, four. This is the fourth. This is a five bedroom with a media room and a loft. Pretty cool. Check out this floor plan. And I really, really like this layout. Because you have the beautiful dining room. A lot of these are going to be wood a lot. I love that they do the ship lap. Your half bath for guests to use. This open and spacious living room, family room, kitchen, dining room, kitchenette area. That big covered porch, fence in the yard. Coat closet. Oh, look at this, a nice built-in. I love this, this look. I'm trying to build out one myself. This is nice. What's over here? Oh, washer and dryer. Makes sense. I was like, where is the washer and dryer? Great. And then let's finish off by showing you the garage. Hot water heater. Two hot water heaters. Looks like this is going to be, this is going to be a lot right here. And then your third car garage. So you have a golf cart. You have, you want to do a workshop. You want to do a home gym. You have three cars. This is where the third car can go. Great craft room, workout room, stuff like that. So, if you guys are interested, again, Locust Grove, which is in Henry County, not too far from Hampton, too, which is at that big NASCAR racetrack. A very growing community, you know, south of the city on I-85, no, excuse me, I-75. So if you're interested, just let me know. Talk to you soon.